Plans to modernize part of Honolulu Harbor are moving into its final phase. And as KITV 4s Jefferson Tyler reports, the $546 million project is all just part of a bigger picture. You can see the huge building behind me. Well, that's the future home for Pesha. And as many people know, that is one of the major shippers in the area. And the hope is that this will affect supply chain issues. Pretty much everything that we use on Oahu and elsewhere in our state comes through this harbor. Senator Maisie Hirono announcing today the latest information on the modernization plan for Honolulu's harbors. The Kapa Lama Container Terminal is headed into its second and final phase. What's happening? Happening right now, what's happening right now is tremendous overcrowding, and that is why this whole project is so important. The terminal spans 88 acres. Trucks to and from Pesha have different routes. So there's a lot of traffic congestion that is happening right now that will be eased. Officials are seeing this as a future solution for some of the supply issues. There will be an increase of throughput capacity of 40 percent, which we really need because we don't have enough real estate and container warehouse on this island, so it's just a just-in-time delivery of goods into our uh, supply stores. Shortened routes could be better for the environment, less pollution. There would be all these trucks spewing their diesels. What's also clear is this. It's not the end of the modernization plan. Hawaii's deputy director of harbors says they're applying for money from the Inflation Reduction Act. Part of that money will go toward electrifying the harbor using solar power. We will convert those uh, mechanical energy to kinetic energy and electrical energy. So when the sun is not shining, uh, renewable energy will come from the battery storage. There's hope that if the requests are approved, cameras could be installed in the harbors, making it easier to keep an eye on ships and making it easier for the ships to quickly land and offload. The cameras will help also our pilots because they can see the conditions of the shoreline. If it's windy, uh, because those, those uh, cameras will also include airspeed and, uh, de and uh, climate conditions. If everything goes as planned, it'll hopefully be smooth sailing for deliveries into the ports. The new container terminal is set to be finished by 2024. Jefferson Tyler, KITV4 Island News.